Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Concrete Jungle. It is a card game city builder. I have no idea how that works, so let's just hop in. Hol Hollyville. Three stars. Game type tutorial. Start. Oh, this game doesn't quite look great in 720p. For whatever reason, it's made for 1280 by 800 at least as far as it starts. I don't know. Welcome anyway. Welcome to the small town of Hollyville. My name is Lainey, and I'm here to show you the ropes. Looking around is pretty easy. You can use the right mouse or the keyboard's cursor or W, A, S, and D keys. You can also zoom in and out using the mouse wheel or the R and F keys. In front of you, there is a small grid upon which you can place buildings. Those buildings are determined by a series of cards. Let's draw some now and get started. That will do nicely. At the top here is the next card in your build list. It's a school, pretty useful. On the card is a small 3x3 grid with a building icon in the middle. This displays the building's effect on its adjacent tiles. Blue squares represent plus one point, so the school will give plus one points to the tiles immediately adjacent to it. With a card selected, you can now place it. Notice how the blue highlights represent the area effect as displayed on the card. Let's put the school here. You'll notice there are now some plus score markers on the empty tiles that were affected by the school. If we place point collecting buildings on those positive scoring tiles, we'll get points. It just so happens the next card in your build list is a houses card. By far the most common point collecting building. Notice how it tells you on the card if the building collects points or not. So let's get some points. I feel like I'm being talked down to here. Honestly, I kind of wish there was an accelerated tutorial. I do like the idea of the vo tutorial being voice acted because it kind of takes the onus off of me, but at the same time, I don't know. Whatever, this probably shouldn't take too long. Great! We now have one point due to the combination of the school's area effect and the house. We have a target to reach for each column. Currently, that target is two. You can see your current target right here in the top right. In order to fulfill that target for each column, we need to use a combination of buildings that affect their surroundings and point collecting buildings. Next up, we have a car wash. This card also has some red squares, which means it will have a negative effect on those tiles. But crucially, it has positive effects in the places we need right now to bring our house up to two. Select and place the car wash so that our house is given another point. We now have two points in the first column thanks to our house, school, and car wash. Also notice how the red negative area effect from the car wash cancelled out one of the points from the school. Now the first column is complete, look what happens. See that? The column has been cleared. That means you bank the points from that column, which are then multiplied and added to your total score. It also means you get a new empty column to build in here on the right. The immediate aim of the game is always to clear the first column, but you'll have to plan ahead with your building placements in order to do that for future columns. Those are the basics. But let me show you what happens if you forget to place a point-collecting building in a column. Fill this column with the following non-point-collecting buildings. If any building area effects spill off the side of the grid, they will have no effect. You can use this to your advantage sometimes. Now we have no point collecting buildings in this column. This will likely happen to you sometimes, but just to be clear, it's something you want to try and avoid. And not just because we have a brewery and factory next to a school. With no means of collecting points, this column cannot reach its target. Therefore, it's just going to sit there while we fill up the rest of the empty land. We need to force clear it. Once the first column is filled, you'll notice this little button flashing at you. All we have to do is click it to force clear. Great! However, force clearing isn't free, it costs you one life. 
You can see how many lives you have left here. Make sure you use your lives sparingly. Once you run out, you'll fail the level. Now see if you can complete past this column here using the next batch of buildings. Well, those bonuses are still there too. All right, uh, that's concerning. So why don't we do a house? That gets the bonus. A school. Another school. Let's see, supermarket. Uh, let's see. So we got this supermarket. I'm just gonna put this here. Houses. Okay. Let's start clearing. So this is a minus one. That's no good. But if I put this here, we get shops. We boost that up. Clear the area. Factory. Not great. Uh, let's see. So what can I do with this factory here? I can always throw it down here and ignore it completely. That's an interesting question. So I'm liking this. The tutorial is, I mean, a bit slow, but whatever. Who cares? Yeah, so I'm going to put that over there. We've got a brewery. It's point collecting. Ideally, I'd like to get a school right here. But if I put the brewery down, that, I'm actu that actually maxes that one down. I want to say this is going to work. Did that not work? Oh, it's not a point collecting building. Oh, shoot. So what are these tiles? The the diamonds in the corners. Um Don't know. So I I have to put these down no matter what, but they don't help me? Yeah, cuz I I just don't know what's up with these corners. Okay, so collect points no, collect points no, collect points no. Collect points no, 2 out of 4. What are four tile points? One tile points. One. Okay. Well, we got a car rush coming in. So if this collects points, no. Okay, that works. So we get a house. What can I, what can I do with said house? I'll put it here. It collects it collects points. Now, if I put this car wash right here, that levels that off. Okay, we're golden. This one's a concern though. Because these are schools. And beers. And this is... A factory. So I can't do anything with that. Wow, that one's at four. Okay, so this is a house. I can put that there. It's just this section. I, you know what? We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to waste that one. We're running out of lives. Okay. Uh, let's see. So this column is good. So I'm going to put this house here. We'll have a school in a second. So that'll boost that section up. Move on. Looks like you're ready for the next challenge. Okay, not so bad then. And we get experience, which must unlock new cards. So you get points at the end and good to go. Next challenge. Luther Fields. This doesn't look the same. Oh, I see. It just expands me past. Since you did such a good job at Hollyville. Well, apart from the whole school, factory, brewery debacle, which was kind of my fault. I've hired you to develop in the county of Luther Fields, a small commuter town south of the city. You know what to do. Just a few small differences this time. You now have two times as many build slots. You can now choose your next building from either of the cards in the white bracket area. Oh, the excitement! Us government employees need to appreciate the little things. I've also thrown some new buildings into the mix. This is a green. Yes, the card is yellow. Get used to it. It's one of my favorite entry-level cards. It lets you choose a tile around it to give plus one to. Super useful! Okay, so let's move this around. Might as well throw. All you have to do with the green is place it where you want as normal. Some blue icons will then appear to show you where you can apply the card's buff. All right, we'll get that one down. If uh, greens do not collect points, right? Yes. 
Okay. So I'm going to put that car wash down here. We get a factory. Just select where you want to apply the buff. Easy. If you decide to cancel the placement after you have clicked, you can do so by clicking the X icon that appears over the chosen build position. If you ever get confused about what a card does, you can right click on any card at any time in the game to have a closer look and find out more about what it does. Right, right click on any card. Okay, that's you good to, to know. You need to develop the land without running out of lives. This bar here shows you how close you are from completion. It will fill with blueness as you clear columns. One more thing. The column target is now set at three. Nothing you can't handle, right? Good. I'm going back to City Hall. I've got so much paperwork to do with the coming election. Catch you later. Okay, so we've got a factory. I need to dump this somewhere. Uh, wah. Now, if I just put that there, let's stack our negatives. We got a brewery. Can't do much with breweries. Houses. This is what I'm looking for. All right, that's one down. Next up, we've got. Ah, uh, you can't rotate supermarkets, can you? No dice. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to chuck this down all. Mm. This might not work to my advantage here. So what if I just do this? Yes. And then we'll do a green right here. Okay, next up, we need to figure out how to bolster this area. Mm. Actually, I can do that. That'll sink that one. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. In retrospect, my placement wasn't great. So we need a house here. We need a shop here. Um, hmm. <laughs> this game is surprisingly hard, surprisingly fast. So if I put... Oh, wait, no, this... Ha, shoot. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. So this tile has no points in it. It's almost got some. That's a barbecue. That's a library. So if... I just... I want the maximum possible effect from this thing. So putting it there seems like a reasonable idea. Okay. So let's clear this one. Get that out of there. I have no idea what that, that means. But I can only assume it's bad. Uh, let's see. We need a house here. And if I put a green here, that maxes that one, clears it. Okay, good. Unfortunately, that negative one is going to last. Not much I can do about that one, so... Hmm... So if I put that there... Oh shoot, I can't put down the supermarket yet. Uh, let's see. We'll put the brewery up here. That does me no disservices. And I put that one down there. Okay. Looking good. Oh, what? Oh, no. Hmm. I just realized this doesn't work the way I thought it did. I thought this too was corresponding with this tile. Okay, so we have to worry about this one really, really hard. Okay, I can put Park Square, like, down right there. That'll clear. That'll help clear it. No, that's not going to work. Damn it. I have... I have ruined things. Or we could just ignore it. I don't know. Yeah, because putting that Bowling Express there messed me up. I'm just going to put that one there. Uh... They got a car wash. Car wash doesn't really help this situation. So why don't I why don't I put the car wash here? That doesn't help or hurt me in any way, shape, or form. We got a school, which is not going to help or hurt any of these. So I'm going to put it over here. Park Square. We'll boost that one. We'll get a house. Clear that tile. 
but might be screwed on this side. I could also waste a life on it. Or, I mean, I could just put it right here. Can't I? Yeah, because I'll just put a house here. And then we got that one for two. Point the green there. Put the house there. Alright! That clears some pretty sticky situation we had going on. I was worried about that one. Hey! We can clear this right off the bat. Okay, feeling good about this right now. Uh, let's see. So ideally, I'd like to squander this as little as possible. Let's put that there. Put a car wash... Oh, can't put the car wash down. Let's put a house here. Shop here. Car wash here. School here. Green here. Park square. Uh, let's see. Seems like a great place for it. I mean, I could put it right here if nobody's going to care. Super supermarket. Now, if I just... If I just put that there, there's really no downsides. We need some houses soon, though. At least I can get rid of the brewery easy. Get rid of the house. All right. Feeling good. Feeling great, really. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, we're getting a lot of greens here, which doesn't help me. Now, this is, this is the supermarket, so we don't gain the benefit from this one. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> so... I can put down two houses here to solve that problem, or I can put one green down, save a house for a different tile. You know what? Let's do that. Because we got a bunch of greens, but we're going to need more. Oh, shoot. Huh, we're looping. Or something. Okay, factory. Factory's no good. So I'll put that there. We could put a school right here. A shop here, green here, house here. Excellent. Wow, you get really focused and you don't even pay. Ah, uh, shoot, that does not look like a useful card. You get really focused on this and you're like, put this here, put this here, put this here. This is very fate tectonicsy. I love it. It's it's very simple, but it's complicated. It's hard. All right, let's do one more. And move on. Population, 500,000. Grapefruit District, 3 star. Or blank out of 3 star. Don't know. Game type solo mode. Is there going to be a multiplayer for this? That'd be interesting. So you learn the basics of deck building by redeveloping the sparse out-of-town distri district. Did you hear the news? Caribou City has a new mayor. Some guy called Selfridge. Can't wait to meet him. But welcome to Grapefruit District. As you can see, there's not much going on here. So it's a perfect site for redevelopment. You've been doing really well, so I think I'm going to give you a bit more control today. Up until now, you've been using a preset selection of cards. I'm going to change that by teaching you the basics of deck building. You always start the game with 12 cards. These are basic entry-level cards. And most of the ones you've been using so far fall into this category. You can tell a card's level by the colored triangle in the top right. This gray-pink color represents a basic level card. Remember, you can always right-click on a card at any time to find more details about it, including its level. There are some other numbers here, too. Let's start with the one in orange. This number is the card's expenditure cost. When you play this card, the number here gets added to this bar in the top right. When this bar fills up due to accumulating expenditure from your buildings, your column target will increase by one. So that makes everything harder since then you need to reach that higher target for your future columns. In other words, high expenditure costs are something you want to avoid as it will make your column target increase faster. But, seeing as almost every building has an associated expenditure cost, it's inevitable your target will increase eventually. This other number in yellow here is a bit more positive. This is the card's economy point contribution. 
In a similar fashion, this number gets added to the yellow bar in the top right. I'll show you what happens when the economy bar fills. Let's place some buildings that are good for our economy. Okay. So let's start with the restaurant here. Let's move it over. Let's see. Factory. Useless. I'm gonna... F I'm gonna flank this bit here. Really not keen on bolstering that. So why don't we put that there? You get one every time the yellow bar fills to its maximum. We can spin this on a new card to add to our deck. Look, a new button. This button opens the card shop, and that's exactly what it sounds like. You'll get a choice of four random cards to add to your deck. All right, so I can add Park Square. Ooh, green houses. So Park Square is really good, except for the orange is... Uh, the orange cost is rough. Probably best that I don't use those habitually. That said, it would be really handy given the situation. So I think I'm going to go with it. <sighs> Might regret my decision, but still. Let's see. Can I can I close this now? Good Done. Choice. That should keep you going for a little while. Okay, cool. So we've got schools. Schools are kind of expensive. Oh, right. It's not even included in my tableau currently. So let's ignore it. I'll put that one there. Let's see. So we've got a green and a house. We'll put the house down. Honestly, this is a house, right? That's a household. We need to... We need to get a house down here. We need to get a park square down here. That completes that one. Let's not do another park square. I might as well put this house... This school here? There are better places to put it, though. Do I get another? Ah, I get more houses. All right. Because we might as well maximize. So I'll put a house there. That solves that one. Do we get a combo bonus for this? I don't know. Uh, either way, I do have to worry about the rising expenditure costs here. That could sink me pretty hard. Do have to worry about that one. Nope, don't have any new schools. So I can... Plunk that down. That probably saves me some effort. Let's see. A shop. Let's see. So this one's good. Oh, we got an extra purchase. Not much I can do here. Let's just clear this one. We'll be done soon enough anyway. Let's see. Oh, might as well buy the new purchase so we can get a theater. Ooh, ooh, that's really good for the economy and isn't too too hefty on the prices. Why is the theater better than the supermarket? I mean, it's automatically better. It's just the question of why. All right, I'll definitely go with theater. That's a good one. Oh, these are the uh, remaining cards. Or maybe the cards currently in my deck? Not sure. Let's see, factory. Blech. I guess I'll put it here. Cost me nothing. Let's see, school... Problem is, I haven't had the ability to put down a house. Could put down another park square, but that might not be good. I'll just put it here for the time being. Let's see, brewery. Can sink it there. So we get a house there. We'll get a house there. Get that there. I was hoping I'd get another green. Oh, hey. Uh, we do. Okay, so perfect. I can... Let's see. Hit that. Put a house down. Oh, the green just gets added to my deck. Okay, I will keep that in mind. And we've got a pair of park squares that I don't really feel like using right now. Let's see. I haven't bolstered this area particularly well. Let's just do that one. That gives us a three combo the moment I get one of these greens. Let's see. I need, it ha I need a house here. We get the green, the green that we need. All right, that gets us a uh, three combo, correct? Nice. Okay. 
obviously have to worry about this section a little bit, because effectively I have to bolster this area really... Oh, no. Okay, so let's put this park square here. Put this house here. This house here. Okay, we're about to hit our target, so we have to we're gonna have to increase our prices pretty hard. Ooh. But I think we only have to cover a little bit more distance before we're done. Maybe one, maybe two tiles, so I think we're okay. Okay, so now we need to get up to four. Ooh. Okay, so we need House here. School here. Problem solved. Now, unfortunately, this restaurant doesn't give me the bonus. I probably should have put down the restaurant earlier, but no dice. Okay, so we get green. Might as well boost that one. Get a house. Put that down. Brewery is useless. Let's put it down over here. Same thing with the factory. Nice thing is I can just kind of waste these over here. Let's buy a card. Let's see. Oh, in retrospect, maybe I should have gone with the shop. I don't know, but yeah, we're almost there. This has got to be this has got to be like our our last one. Did that require four, or did it require three? I don't know. Oh, this is our last one, which makes this in much harder. Or does it? Not sure. We get another park square if we can make it down there. I'll just put these here. Okay, we get a green. Can boost that one. Yeah, it keeps getting to three, so despite the fact... Despite the fact that the target is four, three is still sufficient. I think that's a bug. I'm running with an outdated version. Uh, unfortunately. Because this is, this is the itch.io version, which I can get via the press page. And I think that's different from the Steam version. I, I sent a press request and they realized I sent it with the wrong email. So I'm probably never going to get a press copy for this game. So I'm pretty much at the mercy of whatever. Either way, though. Area complete. Very satisfying game. Very fun. Uh, it, it It's in the same vein as Fate Tectonics, and that is a great thing. Uh, the tutorial is very robust. Maybe a little bit too robust. I feel like after a certain point, it could just kind of kind of just be like, all right, to the wolves, if, we, if you want to learn the rest, uh, you can, you know, listen to these. Uh, unfortunately, ah, eh, whatever. Oh, I only got two, two out of three stars. Is it because speed? I don't know. Speed or efficiency? Or maybe co combinations, I don't know. Uh, but either way, I'm very satisfied with this game. It's very high quality, you know, looks great, it plays great, the music is good. Uh, I, no lag whatsoever. I mean, if this game lagged, that would be a ser serious concern. So... I am nothing but pleased, and am looking forward to the next episode, because I think this game is worth covering. So, the game is 15 bucks. I think it's down to like 1350 for release, so it's a little bit on the pricier side. I don't know, make your decisions. I'd definitely say pick it, pick it up if it goes below 10 bucks ever, uh, but for now it might be a little bit high for most people. But again, you guys, you guys can vote with your wallets, I'm going to keep playing the game because it's good. It is actually a really good game, and it's a pretty unique thing, too. So, with that, if you guys like this uh, impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And if you want to see more Concrete Jungle, hit subscribe, because I'm going to be doing a full series on that campaign, plus a number of custom games afterwards. Plus, you know, whatever they do, if they do end up doing, uh, you know, extra patches, extra features, extra cards. Because that'd be kind of cool, too. But we'll see. It's it's version 1.0.3. So, who knows? But yeah, definitely doing more of this, and definitely doing more Indie Impressions videos. So if you want to see those as well. But, with that, I will see you guys on the next episode of Concrete Jungle. And as always, thanks for watching.